everybody, it's Nicole with Stargazer Soaps. I am going to do another luxury soap. It's the second luxury soap I've made today. Today's the first day that I've really had an opportunity to soap in about a month, so it feels really good. This is just my lye water, my silk. I already have all of my extras in my oils, all my powders, my goat milk, my oatmeal, my clays, and etc. Let me get this out of the way. This soap is going to be, make sure I have the right fragrance here, cucumber melon. <laughs> in here yet and it's like pudding. Yay. Okay. Here goes my cream. I had this problem earlier today. It could be all of my additives possibly. Just wasn't this thick earlier. Not even gonna blend that in. All right, I don't know what this is gonna do. Is it going to um, make it even thicker, which means I have soap on a stick, or is it going to loosen it up a bit? I'm hoping it's gonna loosen it up a bit. We'll see. <laughs> this anymore. I don't want to have to race through this. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's get a spatula and just make sure this is blended. This smells really good. I was in the mood to do something summery. Let me get this bottle out of the way. I'm still. A little more. I'm not 100% sure yet on my design. Toying with the idea of a hanger swirl. I guess it's going to depend. I don't know if you can see. It's going to depend on how fluid. We stay here. Looks like my timer is running out already. I'm going to pause. Well, somehow I filled up my memory card. I don't know how I did that. I can usually have, um, I don't know, 10 videos on there, and I empty it out every time I upload to my computer. And I only have one video. I don't know. We'll have to look into that. That was my big memory card, too. I'm glad I looked. Um, at the back of the camera. So I'm going to do three colors. I'm going to do a green. Can you see? Yep. I'm going to have a cantaloupe orange. The yellow, thinking the melon there. My lighting is 
really bad. I'm having a hard time seeing my lines. It doesn't help that my shadow was in the way, so we'll just wing it and hope for the best. And that one's definitely fuller. Just got these clear buckets. It's the first time I've used them and I like them. I think I'm going to have to get some more. They have some really nice lids that snap on really tight. I can see inside without having to stick my face in the bowl. Definitely a plus. slam into the wall. Their bedroom is right next to me. Somebody must have rolled over. It startled me. Okay, get that out of the way. I'm just going to try to hand blend this rather than rather than stick blending. So I'm just clean off my stick blender. <laughs> save me time later. But rather than stick blending and risk it getting really, really thick, um, I just used micas, so it should blend fairly easily by hand. in that color I think. Sometimes it's so hard to tell what the color is going to be, but that's pretty close to what I was going for. I mixed several different micas in there. Um, one of the ones I did earlier today, I, I don't know what the problem was, but it just was pea green and I couldn't get the green that I wanted. And I'm hoping as it sets, it's gonna, the color's gonna change, because it does sometimes. Good, this is not a real bright orange, it's pretty cantaloupe-y. It's a little brighter than a cantaloupe, but orange is one of those colors that fades. So I added a little extra orange. And this is not just a straight orange, it's um, orange and yellow and Okay. Let's see. How about we start with orange? today. I didn't sleep last night. One of my girls woke up with a really bad nosebleed. And I mean, really bad. I, it was everywhere. So I was up for about three hours cleaning. Poor thing tried to clean it up herself, but failed miserably. And I tell you, the amount of blood that is on the carpet, there should have been a body. So up until about 3.30 with her and then up at 6 for the bus. Get everybody out to school. And my youngest, the baby, what color do I want to do next? Green or yellow? I really wish you could give me your opinion. Let's go green. Hope that's what you were saying. Anyway, the baby has been up. Um, I'm not sure what's going on with her lately, but her nights and days are all backwards, and it's not T 
teething because she's not crying. She's talking. She just wants to be up and play all night long. Um, I finally got her to sleep just a little bit ago. It's almost 9 o'clock. Hoping she's going to stay asleep tonight for me. So I'm, I'm working on about four days of um, averaging two to three hours of sleep a night. So if I don't make a lot of sense, that is why. I don't have to have perfect layers. I'm not going for perfect layers, although that would have been kind of cool. Um, but I do think I'm going to go ahead and do my hanger swirl. I hope you can see. I didn't even double check. Luckily, you can see most of it. I'll move it here in a second. This our spring break is next week. We had early release every day this week. And by early release, they go to school for like two hours and then come home. I'm really not even sure what the point of that is, but already. Oops, I hope I didn't just, I think I may have just moved my bottom layer a little bit. Sorry if this is boring, but why do it? The layers don't have to be perfect. I want some definition. I can pour the rest here. And keep a bit for the top. Okay. And the yellow is getting quite thick. I have my great big spoons. I could be using those, but maybe I would have if I hadn't have dirtied three of my nice spatulas. Normally I would be more careful with which tools I use to make sure I have them because I don't wash my soaping dishes right away. They sit for three or four days and then I just throw them in the dishwasher. Um, but I don't think I'm going to have an opportunity to soap again for a little while so I'm not real concerned if I use the really nice tools right now, if that made any sense at all. I think I had more green than anything else. I keep putting the handle in the soap of the pour spout and you would think I would learn after all this time. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> Make sure you can see my fancy spiffy little hanger. You know, the queen of hanger swirls has got to be Celine from I Am Handmade. If you haven't seen her, look up her channel on YouTube. I mean, she's incredible. One day I hope to be half as awesome as she is. Okay. There we go. I'm just going to plop this on the table so I don't dribble it all over the carpet. 
Now, I gotta put on my thinking cap. Oh, I have a lot more orange left than I realized. Like I said, tired, 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 tired. I'm hoping I can get some lines. Hope I have left enough. I'm hoping to do um, like a mantra type swirl on the top here. Ironic, I had more green than anything else, and I think I saved the least amount of green for the top. But what are you going to do? Go with it. The smell is really good, really fresh. It smells like summer. I'm definitely a summer person. And I'm so ready for summer. Oops, that's going to fall. Let me move this. Got to move that. I have two six-foot tables set up behind me um, because I need a lot of room right now while I'm getting ready for the festival and everything. And it's covered with, uh, they're both covered with my products. I only have so much space on my curing racks and I'm in the middle of labeling everything so it's all in nice piles behind me so I have very limited room back there. Maybe I should have started with the orange. A little late for that. So the other soap I did today was uh, summer as well. It was blueberry fragrance. I have a raspberry lemonade that smells so good. I just want to lick it. Um, it's pretty amazing. I almost did that one today, but decided to wait on that one because... Um, Well, I don't know why, really. You know, when I sit, I sit on the floor. I have my um, fragrances on the bottom shelf of my table here. And I sit on the floor and smell bottle after bottle after bottle and just let something inspire me. What am I in the mood for today? And then I decide, okay, these smell good. And so I set them aside, and then I re-smell what can I think, uh, what kind of a design pops into my head? What kind of inspiration do I get from these scents? And sometimes it's nothing. Sometimes I have no idea what I'm going to do until I, I start pouring into the mold. Um, I tend to just wing it sometimes. And I'm kind of doing that today. Um, like with this one, I simply had the color scheme. And the yellow was actually a last second decision. I hope I'm still in the shot. Okay. Um, I felt like I needed a lighter color. But I didn't want white. I don't need to have white in every soap, so... I decided to go yellow because there are yellow melons as well. And are there yellow cucumbers? I think there are. I don't know. That could be my tired brain too. Okay, so I'm just gonna... Hmm.
see, is that all I want to do? Nope. Okay, a little bit of glitter. Make sure you can still see me. Just gonna do a real light dusting. Hopefully, in this light, it's hard to tell. Okay, there you go, cucumber melon. I don't have a name. Shocking, or a cure date. Even more shocking, <laughs> but uh, hopefully I will remember to do that when I cut this and I will have the cutting video uh, attached to this one, so don't go anywhere. Okay, here's cucumber melon. Wow, I'm surprised this one is ready to unmold. Um, I just did another, I just cut a soap that I made several hours before I did this one yesterday, and it was squishy soft, so I didn't expect this one to be ready, but it is. Trying to line up here. There we go. This one smells really good. So there is an in piece. These will be samples. Put it right in my curing drawer so I don't have to move it again. I was going for a hanger swirl, and there's some definition here, not as much as I usually get, or as I was hoping for, but I kind of suspected that, because when I was doing the hanger, I wasn't feeling as much grab as usual, and I wasn't seeing as much color come to the top, but I'm still happy with it. It's still pretty cool. This smells really light and fresh. This smells really good. Good summer soap. And this has, um, I don't know if I said in the video, maybe I did, colloidal oatmeal and goat milk and all sorts of goodies in it. And here's the last bar. I did not look up the cure date before I cut. I was a little excited to cut the soap, but it'll be sometime early May, and I will post it at the end of the video and down below for you, and it will be available at stargazersoaps.com. Thanks for watching.